don't take the little things for granted and understand that you're blessed to be in the position you're in. And even if things are tough, even if you know you're going through a tough season right now, you're still blessed. Damn. Thank you God for that. It's all like a little show. Go, go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Straight some Raekwon on the TV late night Fresh chish bedside in the dress in the same color as them brake lights Stone Island Knicks, I wasn't as fresh as a jit I had to grow up and shit And my style way too wild now Pow, don't guess I'm up It should take a traitor up Yeah, I'm mean the dynasty Ain't no nigga that's fly as me Who that right there? Uh, yeah This ain't what you think it is, baby This ain't no brand new Mercedes These feelings ain't just cold late Your love for me been long awaited On the real no dough I see my friends, they come and go I see my uncle laying down Almost like he ain't got no soul That shit'll bring you to your toes Make you shed a tear, construct fear I sense his spirit so sincere Spoke to him in my dream, he appeared The day before he died It's crazy, my nigga, I know so casually He laughed and in the party it was real, my nigga, no fantasy, oh God. Hey. 15 viral legend. Yeah, 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 yeah,
All right, Grandma, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I think I'm ready. I don't you know what ready? you're going to ask me. Okay, okay, Go okay. <laughs> so, so um, I'm here with, who am I here with? Uh, I'm your grandmother, Loretta Brown. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so my first question I have for you is, what is your favorite childhood memory, if you have one? My, my favorite childhood memory? Oh, my gosh. I think my favorite one is when I was five and six years old, my father used to sit on the corner of my bed and read me fairy tales. Oh, really? And I and I just loved him for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's that's one of my favorite ones. Do you have one in specific that he read, or you just like the Oh, you know, he used to read me. I used to like the fairy tale, uh, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, <laughs> let, down, let Down Your Hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that which one. you go, that, that was my favorite one he used to read me. And okay. I, and I just really loved it. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Good. Sounds good. Okay, the next one is, what do you remember most about your mom? Uh, most about my mom, uh, she she was very affectionate, mm -hmm. and she was kind of a strict lady too. Oh, she was. Yeah, she was. She was kind of strict and everything, and I I liked the, because she, I thought she was so beautiful mm -hmm. when I when I was growing up because because she was an Indian and she had long braids mm -hmm. and everything and and I always thought my mother was very very beautiful wow yeah and I remember you telling me that story about I don't know if it was your mom or your grandma that was on the reservation oh my my grandma mm -hmm. was born on the reservation in Maine mm. uh, and uh, they lived in and then they uh, uh, I don't know how she got down here, not not here, but into Connecticut, and she married my grandfather. Mm -hmm. But my grandmother, I loved her so so much. My 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 mother's mother. Mm -hmm. When we used, to, my mother used to have us go up there in the summer, and, and stay with her, uh, and. Uh, I used to sleep on her arm mm -hmm. uh, at, at night, and, and I used to say, say your big fat arm. I used to say, <laughs> and, and, she, and, and she used to read stories to me, mm. and she used to take my sister Joyce and I uh, to the movies. Like every, it was either every Friday or every Saturday, mm. and we used to see a lot of westerns. But I, every time I think of like the uh, the the uh, 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 movie, uh, the Walt Disney movies, I guess it was Bambi. Mm -hmm. She took us to see that and Pinocchio. Oh, wow. Uh, and I always think of those those two movies. They're very old. And she used to take me to see them and everything. Okay. And I remember you also said, like, wasn't, didn't she have to do something with, like, um, like the, uh, what was it, the carnival or? Oh, my, my uh, yeah. Uh, and my grandmother and grandfather, when they were young, they used to work in the uh, carnival. And, and she used to be, uh, like, the snake woman mm -hmm. and she had a great big snake and she would you know like present it wind it around her and everything mm -hmm. the snake woman and my grandfather he used to he used to run the rides I remember the marigo round okay which you call he used to do the rides and everything and uh yeah, that was when they was young. And my grandfather, I've only been to the circus once in my life. It was okay. my grandfather that took me to the circus. Mm, okay. And I always re and I always remember that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Third question: What was it like being a mother for the first time? Oh, when I was a, mo a mother the first time, I th I was very young. Mm -hmm. I was 18, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I had David. And when I first saw him, he looked like a little papoose, <laughs> you know, because he had he had he had a whole lot of hair, and it was so thick. And he he was he was a nice ch good child to bring up. Mm -hmm. I was I was a little. Little scary at first, mm -hmm. but then I guess I adapted and yeah. everything, and whatever. And yeah. what was it? What was it like having all boys? Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> I, th I thought I was blessed. Excuse
excuse me. I thought I was blessed because I was so scared of having a girl <laughs> in, in growing up because my, my I remember the, all the problems my uh, uh, my sister had with the one girl she had mm -hmm. and everything, and, and I really loved it. But after I had had two boys, I really did want a girl for the difference and everything. But growing up, I loved the sports and everything. And oh, yeah, I still yeah. loved all the sports and everything in growing up. And my favorite was football and tennis. Mm -hmm. Okay, football yeah. and tennis, football and tennis. Yeah, I love both of those sports. Yeah. Okay, fourth question is, is there anything you've wanted to do and haven't got the chance to do it yet? Uh... No, I don't think so. I love to travel, and I think I traveled everywhere I wanted to okay. because I traveled more than any of my friends and everybody I knew. Oh, I've, I've been all over Europe. I've been to uh, South America, uh, Rio, and I've been over the United States. And uh, I think I, I wanted to see the Grand Canyon once when I was in California, but I never got there. But I did get up to see the big trees, mm -hmm. the sequoias and redwood forest. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I did the wonders of the world. Yeah, I, I was glad to see that. And when I was in Brazil, I like I li I really enjoyed that. But I mostly enjoyed uh, Italy. Italy, okay. Uh, yeah, the, all the things in Italy. Uh, I, you know, up and down Rome, Paris. You know, every. Uh, Every, you know, the, what's the place uh, uh, where they had the windmills? I think uh, it's, uh, uh, I can't think of it now. You think you know? Y yeah, where they where they have the windmills. Are the, I, I, I can see it, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't Austria. Austria. No, 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 Austria was, Austria was very, very beautiful, though, mm -hmm. because I like that on the houses, they have murals outside on the houses, oh, that's which, nice. which were very, very beautiful. Oh, and, and, uh, and in Rome, not Rome, right outside of Rome, the, uh, where, where the, uh, the, where that uh, fa where that famous church is, where the, where he painted on the ceiling, mm -hmm. uh, what's his name, Michelangelo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, that was very very beautiful. Okay. Uh, and and, uh, and uh, Venice was Venice, very Venice, Venice was nice. very very beautiful. <laughs> the, yeah, that 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 was very good. I you know I travel all over and I I really loved it. I know. I think I get that from you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I, I really I, re I really had a good time, and I, I went with Chris, mm -hmm. which is good. I wasn't by myself. He was 25 at the time, and I was in my 50s, and, and it was very, very nice. Nice, nice. Okay, and last question. What is one thing you want everyone to remember about you or know about you? Oh, that I was... Uh, I, I was very affectionate person, mm -hmm. and that I love to use my hands and put on you. I always like to do that, you know, to see yeah, you yeah, and yeah. everything. And uh, I guess that's good. I'm a very loving person. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's what they, I, I would like them to remember about me. Okay, well that's it. Okay, sweetie. Love you, Grandma. Mm, love you too, honey. You look so pretty, Grandma. With your oh, hair. thank you. I, yeah, I got to go look in the mirror and see how I look. <laughs> <laughs> the last one. Yeah. Is that it? Is That's it white? It. No. It's oh, brown. No. <laughs> oh. It's brown. Oh. Look at me. Oh, you got your hair did. Okay, I see you fresh. Okay. Crispy. Crispy. <laughs> Yes, right, yeah. she did it for me. Shanna got bangs too. She she just cut her hair. Oh really? What is that you're looking at now? Cruising by the Louvre. Say it again. It says cruising by the Louvre. Oh. I oh, to... I know what it was called. The Sistine Chapel. That's the one that has the mural at the top where Jesus is touching. Mm-hmm. The hands it's supposed to be Jesus or was it Moses? I don't can't remember. <laughs> One of them. One of yeah, them. Yeah, but it was written by, I mean, it was painted by Michael Angelo and took him like four years to do it on the ceiling. Mm hmm.
Hey, man, we're all here as a family. We're celebrating the one and only our, our grandma. Big 90 birthday. All here in love. All here in care. It's family time, man. We're trying to make our money right here, man. It's matters. It's matters. It's matters. What's going on, everybody? This is G, G Money. I think they know me as. Representing the 404, the 770, and the 678. That's how we get down here. I'm from the west side. Cobb County. Powder Springs. Hey, everybody, we're going to say grace now. Daniel's going to delight us with his grace. <laughs> uh, dear God, thank you for this day and thank you for safe travels for everybody to get here, uh, safe and sound. Uh, thank you for family time, laughter, and joy um, for each and every one of us. Uh, thank you for Grandma and her 90th birthday. Uh, thank yeah. you for her life and everything that she's done and she's accomplished and everybody that she's impacted. Uh, without her, none of us would be possible. So definitely thank you so much for uh, Grandma. And um, yeah, thank you for love. Thank you for family time and good food and good health. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 That's what that's what's going on here. Yeah. I, got, I got the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, dear grandma. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, everybody. We just want to just honor and just give you give you the grace and pray and say we just love you so much. Thank you so much. Tent in the room, and then he's like, well, "What would happen when he, when he oh, said when he said the, that, uh, He says, "Yeah." Um, so he had his he put his keys on the table, and I looked over, and he had like a I think it was a Mercedes Benz keys. I said, "Darrell, man, it was like a night like tonight." I said, "You don't need to be driving out here." He said, "No, no, I'm fine. I started early. I started at three o'clock. I've been sitting here since three o'clock. It's ten thirty. And so we just sitting there, and again." It's me, Austin, Jordan, and Chris, and I'm thinking to myself, he's just sitting there quiet, and we just feel him trying to find a way to say something racial at the table, and we were just sitting there trying to save him. He's fighting it. He wanted to come out his mouth so bad. Try to save him. So he goes, yeah, and um, he, hey, Dave, and we were, and Chris was like. Man, what's wrong with this man? Man, what's wrong with him? So we're just sitting there talking and laughing, and he goes, he looks over at Jordan, and he said, that's Dak Prescott right there. <laughs> Dak Prescott right there, right? I don't think he's more for Devonta Freeman, but, Does everybody know who Dak Prescott is? everybody know who Dak Prescott is. So, so, so he's like, that brother. He's the quarterback of the Cowboys. He's he looked like you. Put it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. He said Jordan looked like why, you. Why do I care about Dallas? 
Oh, oh shots! Oh, 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 I take that. I take that. We won. Hell, we I lost bad. I get it. I get it. I'm with you, man. They always bring Dallas up in conversations. Oh my God.